In an effort to reduce hydrogen sulfide in landfill gas, Casella has installed a new system at Juniper Ridge Landfill. Known as Thiopoc, it's a green technology that uses bacteria to scrub the gas stream. The gas is removed of most of the contaminants, so it doesn't affect the atmosphere like sending the old gas to flare would be. It's a biological system. It relies very little on chemicals, so there's very little chemical consumption. And the byproduct is a sulfur that can be used as a fertilizer, a soil amendment for uh, farmers locally. Housing the new technology required a customized build. There was a lot of collaboration as far as nozzle heights and orientations and various interfaces so that our vessels would fit into their facility. Those vessels include large fiberglass tanks that were trucked in from Texas and Georgia. The bioreactor tanks are 23 feet tall, so we had to leave a portion of the side of the building off so that we could get these vessels in the building and onto their foundations. Putting up an 80-foot contactor tower was also a challenge. It took two 70-ton cranes to lift that contactor into place. It was kind of an intricate ballet to see those two cranes working together to position it. The bioreactor tanks were filled with water. Then 30,000 pounds of baking soda was added, along with a nutrient. And finally, the bacteria, which makes the whole process possible, was introduced. Landfill gas was then brought in through an underground pipe, compressed in a blower, and pumped into the contactor tower, the start of a three-step process. The gas enters the bottom of it, and we send liquid in the top, and it intermixes, and the liquid takes the H2S out of the gas. So the gas comes out what we call sweetened gas or clean gas. Then the H2S is now in the liquid itself. We send that to the bioreactor, and there the bacteria, when we give it oxygen, converts the H2S into elemental sulfur. Then the final stage of the process is to take the elemental sulfur out of the solution, and we do that through a decanter-type centrifuge that spins it out and removes it. That elemental sulfur is 96% pure and easily absorbed into the soil. When mixed with compost, it's ideal for use in agriculture. It's been tested in several universities. It's great for the cranberry industry and for the blueberry industry. It's a great product. The Thiopoc system is highly efficient and 95% regenerable. Airflow and temperature levels are automatically adjusted to optimize bacteria production. Assuming that you don't do anything to detrimentally harm the bugs, it can go for years and years and years. I actually haven't heard of one that's shut down because of a problem. 180 facilities around the world now use this technology, but Casella's Pine Tree Landfill was the first landfill application in North America. It began operation in 2008. Though a much smaller system, that experience made the decision to install at JRL an easy one. We understand how well it works and that nature is pretty much the best way to find any model for an engineering design. They're more efficient than any chemical system we can derive. And therefore, if you can harness the power of nature, you're usually more effective than anything else out there. And we found that to be the case. Juniper Ridge is processing over 2,000 pounds of sulfur daily and is in hopes of bringing local farmers on board to use the product on their crops. The sweetened gas is currently being burned off at the flare, but plans are in the mix to convert that gas to energy. Casella is also harnessing other energy benefits of this technology. We can heat the floor in that building, heat the building with waste heat coming off the process. So we don't have to rely on propane or fossil fuels to heat the building in the wintertime. We've done a few little odds and ends that I think are going to make this technology here even better than we ever thought it possible.